Hey love bugs, welcome back to the channel. Long time no see, I know it's been a little bit of a while, took a little bit of an impromptu break, but I am back and will be cranking out content daily for the month of September. It's officially Virgo season, which is my season. I am a Virgo, September 18th is my special day. So I'll definitely be giving you guys content all month and redeeming myself, but I do apologize for the long break. Today I am teaming up with my first wig and we're gonna be bringing you this beautiful bob here. Stiff wear, not here. This one definitely has so much body and movement. And what I love about wigs from my first wig is that they come ready to go. So if you are a beginner or even intermediate or even advanced, this is one of those wigs you can take out of the box and you can literally get it installed in like three simple steps. You're gonna see with this one, it took me all of 15 minutes to install, minus me talking so much. Um, but I got it installed, it looks super natural and neat. We didn't need to bleach the knots, we didn't tint the lace. We didn't have to cut everything and it is literally the perfect bone straight bob. It gives Dora, but make it fashion. So if you wanna see how I got this look, I'm gonna give you guys a step-by-step -step install. So keep on watching. Okay, jumping right into the video. All I've done so far was literally just put this bad boy on and it fits super snug. I did opt for a size one cap, which I believe is the size, or the smallest size that they offer. She's a silky straight texture, 10 inches in length, which fits really good on me as like a perfect bob length without having to cut anything off. I'm 5'3", 4 reference, and I think this is gonna be super perfect and very easy to install. Again, she fits nice nice and snug on the head. So it almost has a glueless fit and they did include the elastic band which is gonna make it so that you can wear the wig and it'll lay flat and flush on your head and you won't have to worry about it moving or sliding back. We're gonna go with a glueless install but we are gonna have a little bit of a help. I'm gonna be using my bed head adhesive which again is a glueless install because this is actually an extreme hold hairspray but it's gonna help to kind of keep it down and in place and more importantly it's gonna help the wig to have a melted appearance. Appearance. So you're gonna pretty much see how to finesse at home without having any experience at all. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Step one to me is gonna be to cut off the excess lace and to bond her down. So let's go ahead and do that and then we'll go ahead and talk about it and see what we'll do for the next step. that once I cut off the excess lace, the wig lays along my hairline pretty perfect. If the wig was too big, it would be bulky and it'll be sitting up and it just lays super flat and smooth. Let's go ahead and cut off the other side and then we'll move on to bonding her down. I like about this wig is that you're able to take and pull the baby hair piece that's right here you can leave it in front and turn it into sideburns or you can kind of the way the wig fits push it behind your ear and that's gonna be make it super simple and easy to install that way you don't have to worry about sideburns so you do have a little bit of versatility option with that I'm gonna push it back slightly and then I'm gonna add the adhesive. We're gonna work really fast. So it's gonna drip because this is a liquid product. So we're gonna catch it with the rag and then we're gonna put the lace on top and then we're gonna blow dry it. If you're doing this at home, make sure that you blow dry on a cool setting. It's gonna help to make it not look sticky and cakey and white. Trust me, just trust me. Now 
now that we have her installed, one thing I noticed is that this one is going to fit super flawless because I did opt to push the wig behind my ears a little bit. I don't have to worry about really um, bonding it down here. I'm going to train the hair to kind of cover right here just so that it looks easy. And then when I push it back, I'll kind of like, you'll see when I train it, but we really want to focus on the center. This one does come with about six inches of parting space, so you'll be able to get the exact look you're going for. More parting always looks a lot more natural than if it's like two or three inches of parting per se. I believe standard is four, but six of course looks better. And the best way to me to train your parting to kind of lay a little bit flat and to get rid of flyaways is to use a wax stick or an edge tamer. This is one of my favorites. I'll have it linked in the description box. And I just like to kind of push it up a little bit like a push pop. Now, typically, I'm very generous with this. It just depends on the style I'm going for. Um, it can obviously look a little bit on the greasy side. So just be careful and use it at your own discretion. But this is what's going to give you the salon melted flat. Super really, really nice look up top. And I like to go in and just brush it in very well to make it smooth. And then I'm going to take the um, electric hot comb and go in and just smooth it out really good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, why always me? Ooh, oh, like I'm Balu Deli. Ooh, oh, why always me? Ooh, oh, like I'm Balu Deli. Deli, Deli. Yeah, why always me? Ooh, oh, like I'm Balu Okay, I lied. I said no baby hair, but I want it to look a little bit more clean along the front. So we're going to do minimal baby hair. Now I want to make my sideburns here blend with the wigs. We're going to use a little edge control here. And then I'm going to just do the two sideburns. One on each side right here. Or not sideburns, baby hair. Right here, just two little swoops. And you'll see it's going to look super subtle. And you're going to have like business in the front center when it's like this but you'll be able to have that party you know flip it over look and just have a little bit of best of both worlds again if you're not into baby hair that's fine just go ahead and skip this step before we go ahead and kind of clean up the ends and bump it really good i'm going to use my got to be glued um gel now typically i would use a edge control but as we are transitioning into um our move I'm trying to find like my filming setup and see if I want to film what part of the house I want to film in and I don't quite have all of my supplies unpacked yet so bear with me we're gonna work with what we have now again this part right here flips up a little bit so if you want it to look clean you can just take your scissors and just clean it up a little bit by cutting it down I honestly don't want to cut too much just because if I want to bring it back forward, I don't want to lose that option. People act like they know me, but you don't really know me. I've been out here on my own. I've been out, I've been grinding. I don't know if you guys noticed, but now I've kind of trained the hair to go on top. So when you see it like this, it would look a lot better if you have edge control, but it kind of just blends, you know, super subtle. And even here, this is lace, but it looks like my edges. We're going to do the same thing on this side. And that looks super good. Look at me, I'm on. 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 Can't stop, keep going. Can't stop, keep going. Now we want to set everything and make sure everything lays super melted and just tie it. <gasps> I think I just broke my heat protectant. Nope, false alarm. <laughs> or maybe I did. Broke the heat protectant, so we're going to skip that step. I'm going to be using my favorite flat iron, and this one is from Babyliss. Um, 
it's a little bit on the pricier side i would say but i believe it goes up to like 485 465 and this one will easily silk press my real natural hair which is key so let's just go around the entire thing and just bump it and i'm just going to take random pieces and just go straight and kind of curve it twist it when it gets to the end for a little bit of bump i think we all know how to do this but you can also take if you have a hair clip and section the hair i don't have one so we're gonna get a little bit janky but you'll see it'll come out super good And you see just subtly, I didn't even do like a super silk press and how smooth and sleek this side looks. It has a lot of movement. And then on this side, still super nice, but it's not as perfect. So we just kind of want to smooth it out so that both sides look super perfect. Nu vill jag kunna ge tillbaka allt jag inte kunna ge förut Det finns ingen annan där som kan stå här by my side oh why Sätt att du rör på det får mig och dör för det baby För de här jadis jadis, de vill ju bara dra ner oss Men du är fett och vanlig, på det jag lägger av min tid och Jag vill ha det, ha det, nu får mig tjäna safety what I'll do later is I'll go back with a handheld mirror against my vanity in the bathroom and make sure it's perfect. You can also do your straightening and curling on a mannequin head before you even put the wig on. That is a huge help to make sure that everything looks perfect on the sides, the front, and the back. <laughs> Jag skulle gå tillbaka till tidigare om allt igen och Förstå, förstå, förstå Se det som ett allt är det jag vill wifea De här jadis, jadis De vill ju bara dra ner oss Men du är fett och vanlig På det jag lägger all min tid Jag vill ha det, ha det Du får mig tjäna safety now you guys see how super simple and easy this one was to install and it came out super simple and sleek literally the perfect cut you don't have to customize anything you don't have to bleach the knots you don't have to tint the lace you don't have to cut the hair down because a lot of times with different companies you'll find that they'll give you a bob cut but you'll have to cut it a little bit more to make it perfect for you know your needs and this one you don't have to do any of that um it has all the movement you need it's not a stiff bob although it keeps going into my lip gloss don't wear lip gloss when you wear bobs but other than that i think it looks super simple and perfect the only thing missing is to just go ahead and touch up the hairline with a little bit of customization i'm gonna go in with my concealer as well as my contour powder kit um i'll have these linked in the description box but i like to do this just to make sure that the parting pops a little bit more um and i'll take the concealer and just do exactly what a concealer is supposed to do which is to make it conceal to the color that you want the sun is going down now been at it for a while and i have had enough of now this step isn't necessary hopefully you guys will see the difference but it just makes the parting pop a little bit more it makes the parting look a tad bit more neat because this is such a nice lace it's almost that it was too nice so you could kind of see my um cap underneath peeking through and it's like right here now that i showed you you won't be able to unsee it but yeah it was peeking just a little bit and a concealer on your lace is going to do exactly what a concealer on your skin will do which is cover the imperfections so if you do have knots there or something like that it'll temporarily cover it just for a little bit of finesse so that you can get away with wearing the wig without bleaching your knots then i'm going to take the powder in the same brush i get this one from target but i'll leave it in the description box and it has like the side that i use for parting on this side and then this side I like to use for the hairline and powder and I like to just custom find color this is the darkest shade in the palette typically I'll spot test with this one to see if it's too dark and it's actually seems to be pretty perfect because I don't want the hairline to be highlighted like you would in the parting I want it to blend with my complexion and not necessarily 
really stand out so i'm just gonna go in and sporadically put it in places that may look a little too light because sometimes when the lace looks a little light in places it almost will look like the lace is lifting when really it is bonded down it's just the color is not meshing well and i'll even take this along the side so that at any angle when the wind blows everything looks super good now we are done with this bob and again stiff wear i kind of patted off a little bit of my um or blotted off a little bit of my lip gloss so that it would not stick to my face anymore and that's just one of those things we all know when you wear a bob it's gonna stick to your lip gloss but yeah i don't have any complaints about this one she came out super beautiful again excuse my setup i do have my kitchen as the background for now trust me i'll get it together soon and again this one did come from my first wig and it's always they have really nice superior packaging inside they always have goodies for you so i don't think i showed this in the intro i'll show it now this is the nice sleeve or case um or bag that the wig comes in it has a logo and bows i love to hold on to these because it zips up that way when i keep my wigs if i decide to get rid of the box for space or to save space i know that um i can keep all of my my first wigs together my first wigs wigs together and they all have the logo there and then i showed you guys this little info card this also came in there so i'll be able to keep this in here that way i'll also always be able to look through um and see okay this is a 10 inch bob blah 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 and i'll know you know this is the one that i am looking for they also gave some brown or kind of light tan wig caps and then they also gave this little pouch here which has their logo embossed on both sides very nice attention to detail and when you open it up there are goodies included and go figure they have clips in here i wish i would have opened this in the beginning because i needed some clips so that works out perfect and then they also give a rat tail comb again they pay attention to detail and they have their logo embossed here so i'll definitely be holding on to this as well let me see if i can pan around so you guys can see how beautiful the cut is and again no matter how you're moving the wig is gonna move i doubt that we can solve it been trying for so long and i just can't ignore again if you want sideburns you can bring the lace forward and you'll be able to do your beautiful sideburns there sometimes it's nice to just go ahead and tuck it back it works as an easier install and just you know sometimes a cleaner look you don't want the instagram you know sideburns going you just want to look you know nice and clean beautiful for every day I highly recommend this one and of course I'll have her linked in the description box as well as a list and links of everything that I used to complete this look even though it was very minimal. I am Ashley B. Deck if you're tuning in for the first time. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Some I'm Ashley B. Deck if you're tuning in for the first time. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you are loving the content on this channel. I did take almost a month off and I apologize. I was under the weather. We moved as you guys can see from the background so there's been a lot going Going on stay tuned i'm going to be coming with some vlogs and i'm going to be doing some cooking in this beautiful kitchen hopefully i'll see if my husband can join me for some of the cooking videos because his food is delicious contest giveaways all that coming up in september because it's virgo season officially and virgo season is my season of course so again make sure you subscribe turn on those post notifications hit the bell so you never miss a video from me again and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches Baby girl, you're so fun. I can't get you off my mind, ooh girl, now